a week, it's been. Katie Price announced she's getting divorced. <laughs> I know, I know. Because her husband, Kieran, was shagging around behind her back with one of her female friends. <laughs> <laughs> My money's on it being Alex Reed dressed as Roxanne. <laughs> Kate had only discovered she was six months pregnant a few days earlier. I mean, what a shock. But I guess that's the problem when you can't see over your tits. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to say a yard. Oh, my God. I'm pregnant! <laughs> this will be our fifth child. I mean, even the old woman who lives in a shoe saying, haven't you heard of the coil? <laughs> It's terrible news, though. Pregnancy, divorce. These are the classic signs. There's another book on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson's being investigated by Ofcom for racist comments on Top Gear. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you have to give Jeremy credit. I didn't think he'd managed to do something that offended me more than a 54-year-old man with a molting perm wearing jeans and cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> Ofcom should investigate that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Jeremy will want to ride this out, but I imagine he'll wait for things to calm down before he airs the star in a reasonably priced car with Nick Griffin. <laughs> People say Jeremy Clarkson's untouchable at the BBC. Of course he is. He's the wrong sex and about 40 years too old. <laughs> We're all thinking it, still thinking it. Finally, David Cameron hinted that he would be prepared to take part in live TV debates with all the other party leaders before the general election. Yes, Farage, Cameron, Clegg and Miliband. Yap, yap, yapping. <laughs> it's not often a TV show would be improved by the sound team from Jamaica Inn, is it? <laughs> I tell you, there's not enough vodka in the world to get the posh couple on Gogglebox through that one, is there? <laughs> yeah, turn it off, turn it off. And now, apparently, there could be three rounds of debates. I don't know who will win overall, but my money's definitely on Nick Clegg to take the swimsuit round, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like him to ramp up the tension in the studio with some Jeremy Kyle-style DNA tests, would you? <laughs> it would be TV gold if it turned out that Nigel Farage was third-generation Bengali, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be hysterical. I love it. What a line up we have for you tonight. Get ready for the hottest Alan on Alan action since I caught Titchmarsh's eye in the home base hot tub section. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's right. The amazing Lily Allen will be chatting <laughs> and performing right here later. Yes. I'll be talking to the rock goddess that everyone loves to love. Yes, the always outspoken Courtney Love is in the house. <laughs> They're the tastiest thing to have come out of the kitchen since I tried Delia's love eggs. From Masterchef. <laughs> <laughs> From Masterchef, put your hands together for John Tyrone and Greg Wallace! <laughs> Sure. Love you. Good to see you, mate. Yeah, nice to see you too. Good I just to didn't want you. you going falling down the stairs. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let me get your bloody drink. Oh, oh lovely. Yes. Yeah. yeah, what do you fancy? What year we got? What's like? got? Lambrini, cherry Lambrini, but cup. Breezer Spritzer. It's good to see you brought out the classy stuff for us. Well, that'd be all right. Breezer Spritzer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so nice to have you all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And there's Bombay mix there and everything. That's al dente as you like it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, are they, what are these ones? I have no idea. They look like they're like some... Tuck in. They're extruded or something. <laughs> they're not grey. Are not? They're not grey. Are they no. a bit stale? No. 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 I'm surprised they've been there since Series 1. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, my loves. There Cheers, you go. guys. Happy Friday. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that nice? <laughs>
It's delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know what it's like? Is if you've drained a Glade plug-in into a glass. <laughs> it's like flowery. Do you know what I mean? I'm actually getting hay fever from a drink. <laughs> yeah, I talked about this with Eston last week. Can we talk about Gordon Ramsay's hair? <laughs> what, his, his son? Or do you mean his hair? No, his, oh, his hair. <laughs> so oh, oh. <laughs> it's gone even more mental. I mean, look at oh. that. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I know. I mean, you can only dream about well, that. <laughs> well, he looks like his head's changed direction, but his head said, that's all right, I'll stay here. <laughs> is, uh, is, that, is that recent? Yeah, that's this week. Oh, I wow. mean, what's going on? It's like he's taken, like, a crab or something out of a pot and said, trim this. <laughs> That's not a great haircut. No, is it? no, it's not. I mean, not, I mean that, not that I'm an expert on I haircut. was going to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, speaking of hair and all that, I've got to say, why doesn't anyone wear a hairnet? People <laughs> <laughs> wear a hairnet on MasterChef, do they? No. 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 Um, it now, might... that's, uh, that's pretty disgusting, if you ask me. Is it? <laughs> you know why? It's because they're not cooking food for the paying public. They it's are? It's just for me and John. Sometimes they are. Paying pup, I suppose they are. Yeah. But you don't... <laughs> but you're... Get these, get... <laughs> no, but I just... Hang I just on, hang on. Dead. Hang on, they don't wear air nets in professional kitchens. No. Do they? they don't, nor beard nets. Only in, in food manufacturing. Oh. They have beard nets. You've seen those, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like the around, yeah, like that. Well, they look silly, don't they? Well, almost like Gordon's hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We've got to talk about MasterChef. This is the tenth year you've been doing it. I know. Why is it still so popular? Why has it just kept going and going? I, I don't know what it is, really. I, I think we've got... It's people, it's food, it's us, it's fun, people like it, and mm. everybody can associate with it. I think it's... Be yeah, because food is something that we all have a love of. Yeah. I've never liked this term, food lover. You no. show me somebody who's not a food lover, I'll show you a corpse. Yes. It's something that we've... <laughs> it's true. Yes. It's something that we've all got an interest in. And we like to see people advancing and doing well. Yeah. And we kind of like... You, once you've watched them a couple of times, you want to see how they get on. Yeah. I think, I think that's... I think that's why, good... why do you think it's... it's you, you love it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's a good nature show. You know, there's no sob stories. It's just... We don't take the mickey out of them. No, yet. you don't. No. You don't get into those fruit loops. Like, I will make a nice Swiss roll, Simon, uh. and all that. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's true, isn't it? You're getting on the extracts from that lot. Oh. Yeah. Um, you two have got such good chemistry together, but I can't believe you haven't been round each other's houses. No. No. Why not? I'm a little bit OCD. A little bit? Well, in fact, I'm CDO. It's like OCD, <laughs> but I prefer it in the correct order. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, do you know why? I don't... I, it's I, a cod. I like... <laughs> I know how restaurants work. Yeah. I know what time they start. Yeah. I know it's pretty much going to finish when the pudding's gone. I know what the rules are, but round people's houses, I don't know where I'm supposed to stand or sit. I don't know what I'm going to get to eat, and I get uncomfortable. What? Hey, Genuine, honestly, genuinely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I went yeah. to his house, he wouldn't know where to put me. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what to do with me? Because yeah. I'll be in his way. Because he's got an order. Everything's got an order. Yeah. Every single thing. I mean, I went to, one day I he comes outside and he said to me, he "said Do you want to swap racks, clothes yeah. racks?" Because we share a dressing room. And oh. I, I said, and I looked at him and thought, "Who's put something of mine on your clothes rack?" I, said, I ran inside and I took off his clothes right and I went, I've taken it off. He went, oh, OK, that's fine. <laughs> fine. Oh, God. I know. I know. But I also heard, this can't be true, you don't own any underpants. Who told you that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> you know that hole you've got in your dressing room? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't think I've ever discussed this before. I no, don't, I you don't go know. commando yeah. on MasterChef. Well, well, everywhere, mate. <laughs> You'd be wearing a penis net in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I if I wore a penis net, yeah. there'd be a trawler fisherman somewhere missing his equipment. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Lovely, that is. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's it. I, yeah. I, I, I don't like pants. Did you have a nasty experience with pants? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it all caught up and trapped. <laughs> I mean, I've had a fly in my suit, but never a chef's penis. 
it sort of gets my, on my yeah. nerves, really, because he doesn't buy underpants because he's like, <laughs> like, like He doesn't have to wash his hair. He doesn't have to go to a barber. <laughs> I mean, how much money does he save every single year? <laughs> yeah! You know, you go groom every day, get my hair cut and wear yeah. pants. Yeah! yeah. Is, like, there, is there anybody else out there that doesn't wear pants? Hands up if you don't wear pants. Just me. Oh, 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 is that a man or a lady up there? <laughs> oh, yeah, the oh my God, look at this! Hey, Chatty man brings people together. That's yeah. what I love. <laughs> <laughs> um, you get called the grocer on the show, yeah. Does it piss you off that you're not called a chef? No, because I'm not a chef. I'm a green grocer. Yeah, but it makes you sound like you're the Louis Walsh Master Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it comes up from time to time, and people say, well, how can you judge it if you're not a chef? But I've been eating out in the best restaurants yeah. in London four or five times a week for 20 years. And you've got I, a lovely palate, haven't you? I'm the, I'm the punter. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's what I am. Yeah. Um, but, you know, film critics don't make films. You've got a point, and yeah. you've got a point! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, this week it's been semi-finals week on MasterChef. Mm. And they had to cook for the cast of EastEnders. Mm, I mm. heard it was one of your contestant shepherd pies that killed Lucy Beale. <laughs> <laughs> this is the contestants dealing with a very ank Marvin, their desire <laughs> in the semi-finals of MasterChef. I thought it was really tasty. It was like a very rich turkey, but it was cold. But it tasted lovely. Listen, mate, I'll tell you what. It's freezing. <laughs> if, if it was just a bit warmer... It's it's not that'd be freezing, nice. It's not freezing. It's cold. What are you talking about? <laughs> not, I need more gravy. Nothing worse than a bit of cold parsnip. <laughs> got to eat it lively. Got to eat it quick. It had potential. It'd be beautiful. That's the frustrating thing. But no, I can't have cold. Bit of cold parsnip wrapped round you. <laughs> oh, that is bad. Brilliant. So has Danny got a good palate? Well, all he talked about there was the temperature. And he, you know, maybe he's right. You don't want a bit yeah. of cold past it wrapped round you. <laughs> Next week is finals week on uh, MasterChef. What have you got in store? Come on, give us a Chatty Man exclusive now. Well, can you really talk about it? The thing is that... I'm not going to tell you what's happened so far tonight no, because no. The, the fact is we are down to a final pack. Yep. And then from then on it becomes pretty tough. And the deal is, for the rest of the week, next week, it's just a fight. It's a fight between them to see who takes the championship. Yeah. I like Ping. Do you like Ping? Yeah, I do. Drink. Do you think she's going to win then, Alan? Oh, I don't know. Well, do you know, every competition, me and John can tell you who's going to win really? in, in the first week. Yeah. And by the second week, they've been dumped. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time you try yeah. and predict it, yeah. you, you, nev you never can. Cos I love Carl. You know, who deconstruct oh, all me, mate. that beans and the sausages. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> did you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that plum pudding was brilliant. Oh, uh, so there, oh, there he is. G'day, Carl. How you doing, mate? Oh, and what mate. a sport. I mean, actually, to do the whole thing, that plum pudding was brilliant. He actually said, though, that his, his nana used to make that plum pudding for her and it used to block up the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and he still served it to us. Yeah. Brave. Yeah. You had to eat it. It's the first time ever, actually, mm. I, haven't, I haven't eaten. So that plum thing, Greg said to me, John, do not put it in your mouth. Do yeah. not <laughs> put it in your mouth. <laughs> and then I put my pants on. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, just lovely. <laughs> On your show, you do, you have your invention test where you give people a box, don't you, of food, and they have to make something out of it. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, I've got an invention test for you, yeah? Only you're going to do it with the stuff I brought on a big shop on the way to the studio. We can today. do this. Right, Greg, you're going to be a judge, OK? Oh. Yeah, yeah? Well, we can do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, All the OK, time. come with me, come with me. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Have a look in your bag, yeah? You can use anything you want to make this dish. You've got <laughs> a minute, OK? It's, uh, I've got a big do shop. I have a, do I have a plate? Do I have something to put it on? Oh. Oh, yeah, think, brilliant. Think creatively, oh, I can, oh, I'm OK? I'm going to think really creatively. Oh, You've got, got 60 nice seconds. Spice. Your time <laughs> starts now, OK? Good. Right. Let's take this, shall we? <laughs> Greg, you're That's watching good. this. You can be a judge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Are you making something sweet? Yes. Is it? No, no, it's more savoury. It's like fish. <laughs> it's like fish. <laughs> oh, I can't 
can't even open the flat. Oh, no, it's one of these wet wipe things. <laughs> now, I'm doing food pastas with a wet wipe. <laughs> bird there. Oh, that's a good start, oh, John. A good I love start. that bird. Yeah. Fuck, I can't open me thing. <laughs> then I've got a knife. You see, it's harder than it looks, isn't it? <laughs> You're such... Oh. <laughs> Piss flaps. Oh! <laughs> Right, okay. Are you are you are you not done? I'm not even finished. No. Right. Slightly garnish it with some Sheba. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, that smells oh, disgusting. Smell. And most smell. most oh. people have uh, Dover sole. I'm going to use Ana sole, which <laughs> <laughs> it's dolphin friendly. It's you know how to open that up. Come yeah. on. I, I, no, I, I, I've never <laughs> used Ana sole in my life. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There you there go. You go like yeah. that. You've squeezed that out before, haven't you? Yeah, and um, <laughs> now what I do is now um, I just said uh, add nuts. Yay! Yes. If you're allergic to nuts, why not use Razzle or Escort? <laughs> and before you start complaining, it's fair trade muff, okay? <laughs> okay, like that. There you go. I'll just put Are it... you still cooking? Yes, I am still cooking. Gee, 60 seconds. Yes. <laughs> My wrists. Was... Oh, you're no, picking that up. No, that's not. I know I should use tongs. I'm sorry. There you go. Oh. Just... Um, right, I'm just going to pop it. Where's your air net? <laughs> <laughs> where's your penis net? <laughs> <laughs> Where's I'm my, just gonna... <laughs> where's my pants? <laughs> I'm just going to pop it in here. 20 seconds if you're doing this at home. 20 That's seconds, 30 seconds. Just... <laughs> okay. In there. OK, there you go. Press it on. Wipe the hands. OK, thank you. There you go. Just wait for that. Up. And what have you done? Just talk me through yours. OK, I call this um, the days of the Raj. There's a journey by Jamie Dodger through Battenberg to Bombay Mix. Wow, that's amazing. That is yeah. good, huh? So you have, Greg, you have a taste. Come on, you're the judge. I'll tell you what, I've, loved, that... I've loved this cake since I was a kid. I'll have a bit of that. Yeah. yeah Is that go. nice? Is that nice? Yeah, that's nice. Really nice. Yeah. See? That nice. That's okay. See how good I am? You know what, if we could just get a little bit of bonus <laughs> soul on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, smooth, no, go down no. there, yeah. <laughs> oh, mine's just pinged. <laughs> and hopefully the juices should have all flowed and marinated nicely, so... <laughs> oh, my God, it has worked. Look at oh, that. Oh, Please. Please. Is that your pod piece he's eating? Yeah. <laughs> mm. What is that? You can really taste the anusole. <laughs> what are these little things around the outside, what do you call them? The, um, Sheba. Well, <laughs> you told us there was something else before, didn't you? No, I don't know. You I'm said not... there were mermaid's clitorises. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> I genuinely thought a scallop was a mermaid's clit. I did. <laughs> Anyway, guys, good, <laughs> good luck with the final of MasterChef. <laughs> I'll be watching. Good luck, my love. John and Greg, everyone. <laughs> Have a great Courtney Love will be dropping by, and Lily Allen will be chatting and performing. I'll see you in part two. We'll be chatting and performing later. First, though, she's the head banging, stage diving, hard rocking, first lady of grunge, and the only woman whose hole I've ever been interested in. <laughs> Give it up for Courtney Love! <laughs> Chancy, man. I, I jumped. You jumped? Oh, I thought you'd fallen. No, I skipped. 
Oh, I don't, so don't to shit see me you. up like that. <laughs> anyway, let me get your bloody drink, love. What's your fancy? <laughs> really? Are, do you guys... Are we going to actually drink? Yeah, do you like, like Sambuca? It's got chilli in it. That'd be nice. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll have what you're having. Um, big big tomato Tom. juice. Oh, no. Let's, ju Tom. let's just have a Sambuca. OK. <laughs> I don't see you very often. No, I don't see you very often. <laughs> it's lovely to have you on again. Thank you. That's uh, enough, that's enough. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you operating machinery or driving or anything? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> taste the chillies! <laughs> they haven't scrimped on the chillies, have they? Mmm, <laughs> it's nice. It's got a kick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you call it a kick, I call it a near-death experience. Well, <laughs> now, is it true you love coming over here because you're a big Towie fan? I'm a big, trashy British TV fan. I love crap t British TV. And do you love Kathy <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, thank you. No, I mean, I mean, like Towie and Made in Chelsea and stuff like that. Yeah. But I don't like crap American TV. Have you ever been to uh, Essex or anything? Have you been to Sugar Rat or anything like that? Um, no, no. And I, 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 I just, uh, I noticed that uh, be, I, maybe it's because it's public broadcasting, but um, that you you have to say it's it's scripted. Uh, um, yeah. So everything. Because you fake. didn't know it was scripted. No, you? I thought it was like a reality show, like everything else. And then I started noticing it was scripted. Oh. And the, they they hire quite good looking people with good teeth. And yeah. you know, I don't think everyone. I didn't get six. that casting call. Um, <laughs> 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 I couldn't believe you didn't think it's scripted. Because I mean, you, they're in there, they're in a pub, and they'll be like, "Oh, I ate that Mario. If I see him, I'll throw a glass of wine over him." <laughs> oh, look, it's Mario. <laughs> The, the way it, it kept, the first one in the cafe was Amy Childs. That oh, was the one yeah, that yeah. I was really interested in her because she was just so yeah. high. Kind of, <laughs> that British celebrity, you know, thing. I'm not knocking her. I no. mean, we, we have the Kardashians. You have <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know. But um, can I have some more of this? Of course. All right. Well. Of course. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just feel bad for the audience because you should taste it. Good. They have some in the break. I'll come over and give you it in the break, love. <laughs> this one's bloody Graham no, Norton, do you? No. Complimentary <laughs> beverage, thank you. L Lily Allen's going to come out and spray it all over everybody. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's so pumped. No, she's... Lily is pretty oh, pumped. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's I just didn't know where smart. you were spraying it from. <laughs> yeah, she said a... <laughs> In that video, she said she's got a baggy vagina. Baggy pussy. Baggy pussy. <laughs> How amazing is that? I know. When I saw that video, I, I haven't seen her for years. Yeah. I mean, I like her, and we're friends, and I'm yeah. friends with her mom, and whatever, but when I saw Lily Allen has a baggy pussy behind her, I'm like, the, the, the balls on that girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean... Yes. I, ne I mean, Lily uh, has a baggy <laughs> pussy genius. Only Lily could do that, yeah. couldn't she? she yeah, she can get yeah. away with that. It was brilliant, brilliant video. You don't, you don't do reality shows, but what's these webisodes mm. I've seen you do? It's, it's just you reality ranting, YouTube, right? but it's only little bits. Yeah, but you well kick off, don't you? Well, they, they, they paid me enough. Oh, really? <laughs> Listen, we are going to pay the rent. Of course. Um, well, this, let's have a look at a clip. This is uh, a charming story about your dominatrix friend of yours. Let's have right. a look. That's where I live with Eric and a dominatrix named Pollyanna. She would have her clients come over to the house, and I came home one time, and this guy was chained to the washing machine, and the washing machine was on spin. Then one time she came down and she asked me to pee in a bowl. She would give me 100 bucks if I peed in a bowl, and she had a client upstairs, and I was like, I did it. I needed a hundred bucks. <laughs> you gotta pay the rent. You have to. Do you know what? Why don't you become a dominatrix? Oh, I tried. Really? Yeah, no, I tried. Um, because uh, in LA, it, there's no sex involved. So you just learn knots. And I went yeah. in, I had this attitude. I have clients. I lived in Amsterdam with these <laughs> fake eyebrows on. And the first person that walked in picked me as a submissive. 
and wanted to spank me, and I was just out of there. I, I mean, to spank a you know guy for money, I would have done back then. Yeah. But to get spanked, I couldn't do it. No, so. no, no. Now you're not over here just to watch Towie, is it? You're no, actually going on tour. I'm going on a little tour. Woo Thank you so much. So it's not a whole tour. It's no, it's a always Courtney a Love Courtney Love tour. It's raw. Yes. It's a rock tour. I haven't turned yeah. to comedy. Yeah. So what's happened to Hole then? Has it dried up? No, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it dried up for a long time, and then it got seriously torrential. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it got so moist and jungly. <laughs> for a long time, it was like the Sahara. <laughs> and then something snapped in me, and it just went tsunami. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, of course, you go yeah. for it, my love. <laughs> so you've got a new single out, and we've got an exclusive. I can't believe you let your guests get drunk. Oh, my God. And that they choose to do it, and I am one of them. You don't... <laughs> yeah. Come on, there was water there, there was a bongo, but no, no, no. no. <laughs> Give me a chili-flavoured Sambuca. Big Tom. You could have had a Big Tom. <laughs> yes, we all could have had Big Tom. Yeah, Big Tom. <laughs> But anyway, you've got a new single out, and we've got an exclusive clip of the video. This is Courtney in You Know My Name. It's, it's, it's a really, because in videos you don't get money unless you're Beyonce, but, um, <laughs> um or, or, or Kanye West. Oh, wow, that video. You guys have seen that video, right? Oh, on the bike? Yeah. Oh, my God, I know. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, there's this party tonight for uh, Miley, and uh, I'm trying to think if I should go or not. So you're going to Miley's tonight? I might do. But the point is, I want to learn how to twerk, but I'm, I'm almost 50. I, I think it oh. just maybe no. It ain't twerking anymore. No, it ain't twerking. It's, 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 it's no. just not twerking. It's not twerking? It's oh just my not God. twerking, darling. <laughs> I am funny, and I don't even know darling, it. No. <laughs> it's just not twerking anymore. No, it's... no, it's daggering. <laughs> Staggering. What is staggering? You go like that and you get the... Oh, no. You, no, you get a woman there and you dagger. No, you, you bend over. And I'm like this. You see, that's it, yeah. Yeah. No one twerks in Britain anymore, love. Get with it. OK, so... Staggering. <laughs> well, why doesn't the girl get... You get in front of oh, me. Oh, not right. again, not again. <laughs> You do make a good dominatrix. <laughs> I was really submissive then. I know. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> you make a terrible dominatrix. You have a fantasy about me because we I, don't talk enough. I know, I do. I have this image of you going, bad Alan, naughty Alan. Lick <laughs> my boots, Alan. Okay, but you know when you're. Give me more Sambuca, Alan. Are you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Are you, you, but are, 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 are you, are you, are you, you're not straight, right? Oh, I'm not straight. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, shut up. I have a wife. I have a wife. I've got two kids and they're watching. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, it's a bit, it's a bit embarrassing, but... <laughs> So you're not gay. You're no, straight. No, no, I'm straight. You're straight as a fucking dog. Straight, straight. A am I embarrassing you? Straight to the arse. No. Um... <laughs> I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. Okay. <laughs> And I don't know. <laughs> my gator had just gone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 
Well, we'll go back with the tour. When does it start? Uh, we play Shepherd's Bush Empire on the 11th and 12th. Sunday and Monday? Yeah. Right? Give it up for Courtney Love, everyone. <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. It's nice. We've got to go to a break now. After the break, the one and only Lily Allen will be here. See you in part three. Welcome back. She'll be performing later, but first, give it up for the Queen of MySpace, who quit the biz but has risen again as the almighty Jesus. It's the brilliant Lily Allen. <laughs> Them Beatrix and Eugenie. They <laughs> <laughs> don't sit on the sofa. No, they sit here. Oh, it's kind of fun. Fun. I, don't, I don't like. I don't think they like jumping. But maybe we can. Oh, you, you take one. Yeah, and okay, carry love. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Come here, love. Come here. Is it... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> on here, on here, on here. <laughs> there you go. Sit, sit, sit. sit. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yes, lovely. It's like a family photo. <laughs> now, sit there. They can't jump off. Is it bad for their back legs if they jump off? I haven't got a fucking clue. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> OK, thank you. So just stay Here's there, then. Stay. Right, let me get your drink, love. What do you thank want, Leo? Thank you. <laughs> Oh, Actually, uh, can I have my lem sit, which is down there? So. Oh, no, what's up? Not very well. Oh, shit. Yeah. Are you been working too hard? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you just riddled. Um, no, I, but you know what? I, 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 um, okay. <laughs> um, I came, I, I was on a flight from New York. I was at this thing called the Met Gala. Which is mental. Yeah. Uh, and it was really fancy. And then I got on a plane and then I got on a motorbike off the plane, straight to Miley Cyrus at the O2. Yeah. And uh, and then I came here and did Loose Women yesterday. I've been here overnight. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, And now I'm here and I just think it's catching up with me a little oh, bit. Oh. Yeah. So you've got corgis on the cover of your album, She's. I do, that's why they're here. It's not just a <laughs> weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> So why corgis, though? Have you become obsessed? Or because you like queens? Mm, yeah, it... I guess it's a queeny thing, but, you know, it's silly, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I call my album Sheezus kind of as a joke, because everything I do is a bit of a joke. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we thought um, it'd be funny to pretend to be the queen on the cover. So we had well, some queens got corgis. <laughs> so, in fact, I think this guy is related to the queen's corgis. No! Yeah. We've never had royalty ben, on the ben. show before. <laughs> <laughs> should I have curtsied or something? I think you should have. <laughs> oh. Did you know corgis are the only dogs that can twerk? No, stop it. <laughs> Seriously, watch this. Dogs, it's They're true. Great. Have a look. They can, they can twerk. Look at this. <laughs> And I'd like to thank Her Majesty for sending that in and uh, <laughs> <laughs> she has in the post, Mom. <laughs> what is a Sheezus? Are you a Sheezus? Am I a pre-op Sheezus? What what is a Sheezus? I don't really know what Sheezus is. I mean, but it's I call my album Sheezus because Kanye called his album Yeezus, and I yeah. thought, lol. It's quite yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've since been told by people that really know him that um, yeah. it wasn't ironic. <laughs> <laughs> um, but mine, mine, my Jesus to his Jesus is definitely so uh, when ironic. You, you retired from music four years ago. While you were away, you had two girls, Ethel and Marnie. Mm. How weird was it from going from winning Brits to like changing shitty nappies? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. Ask my nanny. Um, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not nice, especially yeah. not for them with my long nails. But um, I. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> No, I don't know. It's, you know. Motherhood and having children is like, it's just the most sort of meaningful, beautiful thing in the world. You suddenly know your place in the world and everything starts to make sense. So, yeah, it's, it's amazing. And you're treating that you were breastfeeding. I was. Now, were you one of those militant ones, you know, that sit in cafe with it hanging out going, <laughs> what are you staring at? <laughs> no, I don't I really, no, not really. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, no, 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 no. no. I wasn't militant about it. Oh. I did sit in the studio though with like producers with my little milking machines on, going. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like, what you really, call your breasts? Do you have to do this? No, because the machine—that's the noise that it makes when you put the thing on. I thought you, have you to called put... your breasts milking machines. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Well, now you're working and your husband's a builder, isn't he? He is. He's here tonight. So. Oh, is he? Yeah, now, do you have to, like, do him a lunchbox now? Pop him at club if he's been a good boy or, <laughs> or a trio um, or something like that. I do that. make him a pet lunch sometimes. Not, not really to go to work with, but sometimes I make him a pet lunch, yeah. Well, if he's not going to work, why do you make him a pet lunch for? <laughs> <laughs> if he's going nice, to the shops, here's nice a pet lunch. Don't get <laughs> I tell you why, because sometimes, like, because we, I live in Gloucestershire and he, we, he works in London, so sometimes we're kind of like crossing paths. So sometimes I like make a cake so that when he gets home, there's a cake there. Oh, look at you! Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Domestic <laughs> goddess. I am actually. I do cricket teas for the local cricket club. Do you? Oh my god! <laughs> I do. If you did celebrity come down me, what would be your meal? Um, I actually know this. Um, I've got it prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I do a. Uh, Jerusalem artichoke soup. Oh, oh no, globe artichoke soup yes. with a pesto, a hazelnut pesto. Oh, I love thing. that. Yeah, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. And then I would do a 24-hour roast pork belly in the Chinese aromatic spices. Oh, yeah, we just um, go to Lily's house. That sounds nice, doesn't <laughs> it? I'll be giving you a 10 in the back of that cab. I loved it. Um. <laughs> I thought the soup was to die for. 10. <laughs> She got her uh, milking machines out halfway through, which really... <laughs> bon appétit! <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to take a break there, Lily, my love. Join us again in a couple of minutes when we'll be chatting beef, bitches and baggy you know what. <laughs> and Lily will be performing. <laughs> See you in part four. Look who's still here. It's only Lily Bloom and Alan. <laughs> now, earlier on, we were talking about your new album, Jesus. Mm. Before it was even out, people were trying to stir up shit, weren't they? Mm, they yeah. were. I guess so. I don't mind it, though, you know. Controversy, controversy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that is Lem Sip and it's not <laughs> the Yeager no, bomb? No, no, it has got whiskey in it, I'll be honest. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, no, I'm that's prepared. Fine. I'm a little bit OCD. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Because a lot of your lyrics are mm. genuinely very funny and people just get the wrong idea, don't they, sometimes? The thing is, I think that sometimes people kind of try and think that and people that write pop songs are politicians or something and that we're yeah. some kind of manifesto and it isn't you know it's just a dumb pop song just it's literally three and a half minutes of like listening to something on the radio don't, i wouldn't think too much into it yeah, they do they get their knickers in a heart twist about it don't they, they? do yeah. what is your record company like when you turn up though do they like roll their eyes and maybe get the tip picks out or what's she going on i don't on know about i can now? never get hold of them they're always on holiday with the kids in dubai <laughs> 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 no, I love them. Yeah. They're great. They're and what about that bit in Jesus about your periods? Mm, they do happen. No, once, what, once, no. A, once a month. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my god. About four days. <gasps> Chatty mm. man exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Did they try to cut out you talking about periods, or were they thinking, "Wow, let's well, sell no, it to I body said, form"? I think that Jesus, the song, is one of the best songs on my album, and so mm. I, I did say in a meeting, a planning meeting. Um, I think she should be a single, and yeah. uh, somebody, a woman in the meeting said, mm, the period thing. I was like, 
what about it? And she was like, well, you know, it's a bit gross. I was like, what, the fact that half the world has them? <laughs> Every three weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so offensive. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? People yeah. just people get their knickers in a right old twist. Well, they do, yes, especially around period times. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's a curse just thinking off the top of your head. Um, <laughs> have you noticed, like, in, in our business, well, you're more than my business, but social media has got more vicious, don't you think so? Oh, yeah, it's toxic. Yeah. Was mm. you worried about that? Because, like, you know, back then... I invented the it, the bitching about people on the Oh, internet. yeah, you were always kicking yeah. off having fights. I was the and first. I, I was the first and the worst. I used to have a blog on MySpace, and I was, you know, I'd tell everybody exactly what I thought, but... I think that it's kind of gone too far. And you yeah. can call me a hypocrite. I'm fine with that. I know that I'm a massive contradiction. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, got, it's, it's become quite a nasty place, I think. Yeah, Twitter's got... Twitter yeah. used to be quite fun, but now it's like people hate things from the minute. You know, you've got new series or new sitcoms, like yeah, two yeah. minutes in. What a load of shit! <laughs> I hate that thought. It's too big. <laughs> Wish you were dead. And like, all right, it's a sitcom. <laughs> Chill out. I guess that the internet thing is, is that it's there all the time. Yeah. Like, you know, 20 years ago, you saw something on the telly or you saw a music video or you heard a song on the radio and you couldn't get it again until the next time it was played. Whereas now it's there so people can analyse stuff and dissect it, you know, yeah. and it makes them feel really clever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, that's kind of it. But that's fine. Everyone's, you know, entitled to their own opinion. They're just stupid, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've got to talk about hard out here. Were you expecting it to cause as much of a fuss as it did? Because everyone was had an opinion no, on it. No, I thought that my baggy pussy would be the big headline, not me being a racist, I'll be honest. That was, um, yeah, a bit of a surprise, but... Yeah, your baggy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. I know, I know, I did, I did. I had two kids and I thought I was putting it out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was baggy. I've been doing my pelvic floors though, so everything's fine now. But uh, it felt a bit weird for a while, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> but there was a bit of a fallout, you know, people got really, really upset and angry about, about certain elements of the video. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> it sort of got high... I can't believe we're talking about your baggy family. <laughs> that's weird. Oh, okay. It is there? fine and it sends its love. And your arsehole? <laughs> oh, great. Oh, yeah. as good as it's ever been. <laughs> You're going to perform for us now. Uh, do you want to go and get ready? Uh, OK, I will. Oh, lovely. Thank you for get having me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Lily Allen, everyone. Thanks, love. Thank you. That's it for tonight's show. A massive thank you to Greg Wallace and John Turow, Courtney Love, and, of course, the amazing Lily Allen. Yeah. On next week's show, I'll be joined by Nick Grimshaw, for Ian McKellen and the one and only Kylie Minogue will be chatting and performing. But now, with our time, it's Lily Allen! <laughs>
Go home.